few things for Sunday dinner. Yeah, you better pick up some pepper, just in case Lance stops by. <laughs> Where'd you hear about that? My dearest is all over town. Oh? Well, where'd you hear about it? You haven't been out of the house all week. I heard you two talking in bed. <laughs> Daniel, it's not polite to listen in on other people's private conversations. We live in a one-room house. I can hear everything that goes on. Oh, my. my, my, my. Well, all that's over for good now, Daniel. Oh, my. <laughs>
I'm hurt. I need a doctor. That'll be ten dollars. Drink to all the help. Looks like a real popular man. Maybe you ought to get to know him. Won't be time. I'm coming, boss. Good work. Well, you try to understand, after what happened today, these people, they think I'm kind of a hero. Somebody's got to do the job, why not me? I don't believe it. A man was shooting at you today. Is that how you want to earn your living? Oh, of course not. We'll keep the store. Marshall's job doesn't pay anything. <laughs> Daniel, I don't think this is any... Elvira, will you stop that, please? Oh, sorry, Sam. I just can't seem to get the dirt off the floor. <laughs> Elvira, it's a dirt floor. Oh. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Just gives me more time for churning. Elvira, we're discussing something very important here. I'd like your opinion. Opinion? Sam, ever since I was a little girl, they told me it wasn't ladylike to have opinions. Opinions were for men. Well, ladies could have harpsichord lessons, they could have fancy dresses, they could have babies, they had to have babies, <laughs> but not opinions. Look, Sam, what I'm trying to say is, I'm just not prepared for this type of living. The type of living I'm prepared for is gone. I just don't seem to fit in anywhere. <laughs> Elvira, don't cry. <laughs> Elvira, would you stop, please? <laughs> Elvira? You know, we wouldn't have any of this trouble if we wouldn't stop. Daniel! <laughs> if the next word is Philadelphia, I'm knocking it back down your throat. be town marshal. I wanted to be that, too. I never really cared what you wanted. I want to be the best wife I can. I want to live with a man who believes in what he's doing. I want a real flower. <laughs> Maybe if I met some kids, made some friends, learned how to do stuff out there. No. Then. <laughs>
for me. Please. Would you just give a little bit of a try? I know this means a lot to you, Dad. I know it's always been your dream to live out here. Even though I can't understand why. You're my dad, and I love you. Well... Daniel, you're sticking me with a pin. I know that. 